Hey, and welcome back. Let's work on sending out emails. But first I need to add an edge here for a hash password. All right, now navigate to my .env file. There are three keys that we will need from Google. And the first one is client ID. So I will say G underscore client underscore ID. And then the next one is client secret. So I will say G underscore client underscore secret. And the last one is refresh token. So I will say G underscore refresh underscore token. All right, to get these keys, you will need a Google account. If you don't have one, go create one and then come back. Next, we want to navigate to this website. Once you are here, navigate to APIs and services and then dashboard. We want to create a project. I will call it MERN API 01. Click create. Once that is done, click on OAuth consent screen. Click create. My app name will be MERN Auth. I will input my email. Scroll down. Same email here. Save and continue. Scroll down, save and continue again. And then one more time. Scroll down, back to dashboard. Click on publish app, confirm. Now go to credentials. Click on create credentials, OAuth client ID. Application type will be web application. And then click on the first add URI button. I will input HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 3000. Scroll down, click on the second add URI button and then paste in this URL. Now click create. Next, copy the client ID. Go back into VS Code. I will paste mine here. Go back to the browser. Get the secret key. Copy that back into VS Code. Paste it here. And then back to the browser. Open a new tab and then go to this URL. Next, click on the call icon. Check this option. Back to the Google console. Copy the client ID. Paste it here. Back one more time. Copy the client secret. And then paste it here. I will close. Next on my left hand side on the input. I will input this URL. And then click on authorize APIs. Choose your email. Click advanced. And then click on go to. Check this option and then click continue. Click on the exchange button. It will redirect me, but don't worry. Just click back on step two and then copy the refresh token back into VS code and then paste it here. There's one more key that I want to add and that's the admin underscore email. And then I will input my email. Give it a quick save. Next, I will create another helper. So open my sidebar. In my helpers folder, create a new file. I will name it sendmail.js. Close my sidebar. First, I want to require in no mailer. So const no mailer equal require no mailer next to Google APIs next the OAuth verification so cons OAuth 2 
and that's from Google Auth. Next, I want to define the OAuth URL. So cons OAuth underscore playground equal to this URL. Last, I will need to require in the .env package. So require dot env dot config after this i will define all my secret keys so cons g underscore client underscore id and then g underscore client secret and then g underscore refresh token and then also my admin email I will set that equal to process.env. Next, I will use Google OAuth. So const OAuth to client equal new OAuth2. I will pass in my first three keys. And then the OAuth URL, which was OAuth underscore playground. Next, I want to write the send mail function. So const send email register equal an arrow function. Inside, we will pass three param. First is two, second is URL, and then text. Next, I want to set the refresh token. So OAuth to client dot set credentials, and then the refresh token will be my g underscore refresh underscore token after this google will give me an access token so cons access token equal oauth to client get access token next i will use no mailer so cons smtp transport equal no mailer and then create transport inside i want to define the service which is gmail and then my authentication the type is oauth2 the user will be admin email the client id will be g underscore client id the client secret will be g underscore client secret and then the refresh token will be g underscore refresh token and then our access token after this i want to define my mail option so cons mail options equal first is the from it will be the admin email next the two will be two my subject will be activate your account. Next, I will have an email template. So HTML backtick, and I will paste this in. It is available in the GitHub repository. And now I will send the mail. So I will say SMTP transport, and then send mail. I will pass in the mail options followed by a callback function inside the function we have the error and the info if there's an error i want to return the error if not return the info give it a quick save and now i want to export this so module.exports send email register Save one more time and then go to my user controllers. Import the helper in. So cons send mail. Require inside my helpers folder. Send mail. Scroll down. So first I need to define the URL. So cons URL is equal to backtick http colon forward slash forward slash localhost 3000 forward slash api forward slash auth forward slash activate 
forward slash and then i want to include my activation token so this is the url that we want to send with the email now i will use my helper so send mail and then it is send email register i will pass in the email of the user that i was trying to register and then the url after that a text saying verify your email now lastly if everything was a success i want to respond with a status of 200 and a json message saying welcome please check your email give this a quick save there are a few issues with our code and it's in the send email js i misspell the admin email here and then also scroll down i need to export this out in a bracket give it a quick save and now navigate to my server js since we are now working with json data we need to tell our app that we are working with it so i'm going to say app.use express.json also i will need to say express.url encoded and the extended will be true give that a quick save all right so before we actually integrate everything to our front end we need to test out our register function and the best way to do that is by using a platform called postman so open up your browser and then go to this website postman.com and then download the one for your os once you download and install it open up postman and this is what you will see so first thing i want to do is create a new collection so press the plus icon and then i will name my collection modern auth click enter and then inside that i'm going to click here and i will choose add request and i will name it user register and then it will be a post request and the endpoint will be http semicolon forward slash forward slash localhost 8000 api auth register next i will go to my body select raw and then instead of text i will choose json format and here i will pretend to be a new user that want to register so first i will pass in my name as user1 next my email make sure it's a valid email where you can receive email so i will say passion corners at gmail.com next i will put in my password i will say hello world one two three and now i will click send and it looks like everything is working correctly because of the message down here that we wrote if the registration process was a success next to confirm i will check my email and here's the email that our server sent all right and this will wrap up the lesson and in our next lesson we will activate the user see you then